Hello guys, Mr. Rossi 1990 here, and I'm bringing you another one of these squad builder type thing videos. Just going to show you this team I built literally about an hour ago. It is a Mexican silver team, as you can see, guys, and I'm just going to run you through it basically. I'm not going to show you any goals at the end, unfortunately, because I haven't actually played that many games with this team, and I haven't actually been able to record any goals. So I'm not sure if many of you are aware, but my HDPVR is a bit messing up recently. I turn it on by the plug and it sometimes takes around half an hour to actually turn it on, which is kind of annoying. I have to be pressing the power button a couple of times. Not too sure why that is. I'm going to look into it, but that's probably why I've slowed down my uploaded videos recently. The PVR just isn't working. Might move the trading onto the web app if I can, if that's alright with you guys, I suppose. But I'll try and get the PVR working in time to do the trading videos again. But I made this team just for a bit of fun. And oh dear god, this team is beast. You might want to go buy it yourself. So let's just have a little run through the team a minute. This guy in goal, pretty cool picture there. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. 350 coins there, guys, in a decent formation. He's not great stats wise, just bought him. He's, he's six foot and he's quite. He just looks quite cool, not going to lie. A couple of these I did get in a pack, actually. This guy here was kind of made me want to build this team basically because I've got this guy in a pack here first owner as you can see the 91 at pace right back that is absolutely insane also 71 at dribbling isn't too bad very young team as well 1989 as you can see they're pretty young moving to the centre back you've not got a lot of choice here these two aren't even shinies but they're reasonably pacey at 74 at pace for a centre back you can't really complain about that at all moving on to this guy here he looks a bit weird 1991 there though he's really young 2000 coins he cost me 75 at pace centre back which is quite nice Playing a right back here at left back. He's also a first owner. Enrique Perez, what a name. Fantastic. 89 at pace, left back. But he's obviously a right back, as I've said. In the middle, we got this guy. And he is insanely good. I love this little guy. He's five foot three. Christian Bermudez. Absolutely fantastic. I think he's a four star skill mover. And he's just amazingly quick. As you can see, a sniper boy. Picking up a win, this road to glory. 88 at pace, 78 at dribbling. Absolutely brilliant player to buy. I recommend going picking up if you're looking for a Mexican team or a Mexican league team or something along those lines. Not much else you can fit into, really. This guy isn't anything special. Just in the middle there, centre mid. Look at his face, guys. He's ready for it. 82 at pace, I suppose that's pretty good. I think he's a two-star skill mover, though, so that's pretty shocking. But what can you do? He's loving it in the middle there. We've got a couple of informs in this team as well. we got a Marco Fabian, I suppose he is called. Another young player. Very small team we got here. If you're looking for people who are tall and get your headers, this probably isn't the team for you. But he's 82 at pace and 80 at dribbling for a centre mid. He's also got amazing long shots. I think he's got the long shot trait. So that's insane. Right mid, we've got this guy that's a bit weird, Medina. But he is insanely good. You can see that in his goal scoring. He's got 12 goals in 8 games. And not all for me, I don't think. But as you can see, he's just a goal scoring right winger. 88 at pace. And do believe he's a 4-star skill mover. Might be a 3-star skill mover. Not too sure. Left wing, we've got this Rojas guy. 5'5". Five five. Unfortunately, he's a 2-star skill mover. So that's piss poor. But he's 92 at pace. So that makes up for and cutting and do a couple of... Um, step overs or little rolls whatever you want to call it. we can't even do a roulette which is quite shocking but what can you do i've got the silver vela but i've chose to go with the informed vela guy here but for 18k the informed one of course he's so good guys 88 at pace 82 at shooting also a nice 76 at dribbling there he is so good to have in a team like this as you see i've also got a mexican manager which is pretty cool there he is he's called t-boy t-boy my friend not bad at all on the bench we've got some cool looking guys here we've got perez sergio perez look at him He's looking pretty cool there. 87 at pace, right back again. Another option there for you guys. We've got Rayner. I think he was in form in the last year's game. I got him in a pack, as you can see. I bought a couple of silver packs. Looking for Robert Snodgrass in form. And I got him. Not a pack, unfortunately. I went out and bought him. But 78 at pace and 79 at dribbling. Overall stats, he's actually quite good. I believe he's a four-star skill mover as well. This guy here, Lugo, another in form guy. Pretty cool. Look at them stats overall. He's an overall really good player. Nothing out like amazing. It all sounds like, like a couple of 80s, uh, high 70s in there as well. This guy here, Acuna, five foot five again, pretty small guy, 82 at pace, just a decent sub to have if you want someone different, lower rating I suppose. This guy, nothing special again. I think he was a four star skill mover, 84 at pace, pretty decent overall left footed option, left mid if you're looking for that. This guy looks like cool. Cortez, Quartz or something like that, probably Cortez I'd imagine, 88 to pay, 79 at dribbling, pretty good player there, absolutely fantastic, this guy is really good, he's really good at pace, 89 at pace there, 76 at dribbling, but he's just not going to get in over Vela unfortunately, in my eyes I believe Vela is the better man, if you're looking for a full Mexican team I suppose you could put him in there and then that links as a, sorry, a Mexican league team, so obviously Vela does play in Spain for Sport, 
Uh, Real Sociedad, isn't he? Real Sociedad. Moving into this guy. Look at this guy's face. We've got him in a pack. I think we got him in one of my pack opening videos. You might have seen it. But look at his face. He looks a bit confused. Messed up. Don't really know what you want to say about that guy. We've got this guy left back. Aldretti or something like that. 83 pace. Very, 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 very quick team. Look at all these paces along the line. Here. We've got some... Apart from this guy, of course. He's a 51 at pace. But he's just a cover centre back. Not much else option. I think got him in a pack, didn't I? Yep, there it is. Got him in a pack. So I can't really complain. This guy here got in a pack as well. See, I've got a lot of Mexicans in my silver packs. I think they're all over the place here. So he's not bad at all. Very young again. Not too sure on his skill moves. This guy I just bought because he is a four star skill mover, but he is absolutely shocking stats wise. I'm not really going to be using him just in case I want a bit of fun, a bit of four star skill in the middle there. He is a nice option to have. So that is that team there, guys. Cost me a bomb. But to be fair, that's mainly the informed guys, because obviously they're going to cost you about 50k each. But the rest didn't cost that much. I think he was the most expensive next one at 600 coins. And I apologise for that horrible lag there. That's my phone getting a message. Just have a little look if I go into my squad selector thing here at my Boom Boom Pow team, which I do believe is my other team. Here we go, guys. This is a team a couple of you have been asking to look for. As you can see, I've got some bronze Brazilians on the bench there. Just because I like to lower my rating a little bit, I don't know if you give me a lot of hate for that, but when you got a PS person like Ronaldo or friend, you come across all the people who are like four and a half star team, five star teams, and this team just won't cope against it, of course. So I want to be able to play my Ronaldo and have, you know, obviously these are bronze Brazilians. I do actually play a couple of them. Max is insanely good. We've got El Shawari on there as well, and Alan Patrick and Wellington Silver. Dede should be in the team, actually. I sort that out now. Dede should be in for that guy there. Puts our rating up a little bit. But i got Robert Snodgrass. Look, guys, 150k cost me. I do believe I showed that in another video. I'll run you through this team a second, actually. You might as well make this into a double squad builder. Okay, guys, that deserves a like right there. So we start things off. I've got Cini in goal because I had Fabio and he really annoyed the hell out of me. So I ended up actually getting rid of him and getting Cini. The free kick taking goalkeeper. As you can see, a 94 at kicking, guys. That is insane. He's so good. Right back. It's not changed much from the last time I did this. Um, Review on this team actually with a couple new players. 32k got me, um, Cecenio is called, but just so you know, the price of these players I bought a long time ago, so they're probably up and down all over the place. Not sure if I got some deals or not. 28k got me a Manuel, he's such a beast. You have to have him in a Brazilian silver team. Dede, of course, I'm sure you are all aware. I bought him for 8k, well, was right at the start of all my team, so that's why he's so expensive. But he's so good, he's such a powerful guy. Marcel has evaded, I'm sure you all are aware he is a 5 star skill mover, of course, 20k just over. 89 at pace is very, very good. He's very, very strong as well for a 5 for 8 guy. He can do a lot of skill runs from the back, as I'm sure you're aware. I've gone with Lelina in midfield. He's a 4 star skill mover, but he's got really good pace and really good dribbling. I just like him. He just seems to run with the ball very well. We could have a lot of other people in there. Marias also in midfield, 5 star skill mover, I'm sure you're aware. Doesn't get me many goals, actually. He's only got 20 there. I think that's mostly for me, but his stats are. Well, they're not that great, but he's a 5-star skill mover, and he's got really good long shots. But this guy here, oh dear God, has the best long shots I've seen. He's an absolute beast. Look at his stats there. Obviously, he's an inform 84, which is quite high. But 87 at dribbling and 88 at shooting. He is so, so good. I recommend you buying him. And the strike force, of course, of Mike on Lita, as I'm sure you are aware. I did actually get him for 75k quite a while ago. It goes for around 160k now. So if I wanted to make some money, I would just sell him. But he's so good, and I don't really want to sell him. Up front, we have got Marlos, absolute brilliant player, as I'm sure you are aware. Left footer option up front, if you want that. And Ronaldo, left wing, I'm sure I don't have to say anything about him. He cost me a shitload. But yeah. Look at them stats. He is worth every penny in my eyes. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's not worth the money, but he gives me a lot of goals and a lot of assists and everything. Just run you through the bench quickly. There's nothing much special. El Shawari, I actually picked him up for 30k quite a while ago. I'm pretty happy about that because he goes around 60 now on a good day. Max as well, not too bad at all. If you look at his stats, 78 at pace for a bronze. Can't really complain about that. This guy here, another bronze player, quite young player. I like trying him out. Maybe I was going to make a Brazilian bronze team, but they didn't really have the coins or the time to do it. Alan Patrick. He is a long shot taker. He's quite good. He's quite young as well. Jesus Christ. His stats are quite nice there. As you can see, not too bad. Wellington Silver. There's another option here. If you want to play him, say, there. He will then link with Ronaldo. Because obviously they play in BBVA. So it's not, not quite a nice one to have there. I sometimes play him. He's a five star skill. I think he's actually on loan from Arsenal in real life. So they'll be looking to get him back. We've got this guy who plays in the K League. He's quite good. Actually, decent pace for a 
bronze striker. We've got Vaste, that was to link Robert Snodgrass into the team. Nothing really special about him. This guy's actually a three-star skill moving, long shot taking centre-back, which is pretty rare to find, I'd imagine. Russian league he plays in, though, so doesn't really link much with many people. We've also got Fet Fatasidis, I can never really say his name right. I've actually got him in a pack. Which you cannot complain about at all. In 4 1 2 1 2, Robert Snodgrass, of course, 4 3 3 guy. I just love him. Leeds fan, of course, I'm sure you are aware. I've said, of course, a lot in this video so far. Neymar as well, got him for 45k back when he was expensive, but he's so good. Look at that goal scoring record 102 goals in 92 games. Isn't too bad at all. An informed Fred, I got in a pack. He has played one, scored three. Can't really complain about that at all, guys. So yeah, that's pretty much this episode over. I just wanted to show you my teams. A lot of people have been asking what kind of teams I've got. Let's just have a little look at my other ones. Nothing really special. I've got that Jamaican team. I have gone through that one already. That is a beast team. Got an injury in the middle there for one of the guys. Very, very nice team there. And we've also got the start of a Leeds team, which I have nowhere near finished. So I will hopefully get that one done soon. Let's just get back to my Viva La Rossi team. As I've called, I'll be playing with that one in just one second. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Just leave in the comments if you want to see more of these videos. I will carry on my trading. Trading hasn't gone anywhere. I've just said I've got a couple of HD PVR issues. I'm trying to sort them out. So if you don't see a couple of videos uploading in the near future, you understand why. It's just taken me a while to get this one out. It took me about half an hour to turn that bugger on. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with some more episodes soon. So thank you very much.